Brain Tech, yeah, where tech is made simple. Power Toys has received an update, and this latest update for the utility started rolling out over the last couple of hours and now takes the version to 0.68.0. And in case you're unaware, Power Toys is a set of utilities to help you tune and streamline your Windows experience for greater productivity and includes tools and utilities that do not come bundled as default tools or options in both Windows 10 and Windows 11 and is available for download from the Microsoft Store or over on GitHub where it's maintained and developed by Microsoft. Now there's quite a lot going on in version 68 and we get two new uh, features and utilities and uh, before we have a look at those there is a change I want to bring your attention to and um, we also get fixes, a whole lot of fixes that roll out, which is common uh, in major uh, releases to the Power Toys app. Fancy Zones has received a whole lot of fixes. File Explorer add-ons has received improvements and a fix. Host File Editor, two improvements. Uh, Keyboard Manager has received a fix. Power Toys Run has received a whole lot of improvements and fixes and add-ons. The Shortcut Guard has received an add-on. Quick Accent, two add-ons. And settings has also received a couple of improvements and fixes. And um, when it comes to the settings, um, just to highlight that the system tray flyout, uh, there was an issue where it wasn't respecting the taskbar position. That has now been addressed. So if you experienced that issue, um, that now has been fixed with this latest update. And if we head back to the app on the general homepage, if we scroll down to the bottom, there's also a new experimentation toggle which is turned on by default allow experimentation with new features note only windows insider builds may be selected for experimentation so you have to be signed up to the windows insider program to get any new features that microsoft is currently experimenting on before they are released to power toys and those are not available um, in the stable version of power toys now the first new feature is a feature called paste as plain text And Paste as Plain Text is a quick shortcut for pasting the text contents of your clipboard without formatting. Uh, Note, the formatted text in the clipboard is replaced with the unformatted text. It's turned on by default. You can obviously toggle it off if you're not using the feature. And the activation shortcut is your Windows Control and V key, which you can edit. And just to cut to the chase, just to show you what this is all about, using a screenshot, Paste as Plain Text, as we can see, strips rich formatting from your clipboard data and pastes it as non-formatted text. So that's paste as plain text, a brand new utility now rolling out in Power Toys version 0.68.0. And then the next uh, new utility is actually part of the existing mouse utilities. And it's a feature I did post on maybe a week or two ago. And um, it says enable mouse jump. And uh, once again, we get the activation shortcut, Windows, Shift and D. You can also edit that, and this entails you to quickly move the mouse pointer long distances. So basically, this will come in handy if you have a multi-monitor setup. So it helps you to quickly move your mouse pointer long distances on a single screen, but I think this will be more beneficial um, if you are using multiple screens, and you'll see why. Now, as an example, if I just activate that, um, Windows, Shift, and D, there you can see it creates a smaller window of my desktop now if i want to move my mouse say to the bottom right hand corner all i do is i click on that relevant section of the blue window and there you can see my mouse now is at the bottom and um, as mentioned i don't think this will be too beneficial and of use on a single screen but if you are using a multi-monitor and multi-screen setup then you may find the mouse jump to be of benefit so that's more or less what has rolled out uh, in this latest version of Power Toys, version 0.68.0. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.